Hello everyone and thanks for you know tuning into Unlocking Our Voices podcast. I appreciate the the love and the support that we have gotten from so many people from different parts of the world. But it's important to you know that we understand the purpose and the reasons why Unlocking Our Voices was created. And it, it's I would say it has been in the making for maybe the past 20 years or so because the truth is that when I came to the United States um, as a teenager and observed the culture, to me it, it, it was an alien culture because I didn't see any representation of the black man, the black culture so to speak. And you know it, it bothered me tremendously as you know as a as a teenager, but it wasn't until I got to college and when I got to college and start reading the historical records and seeing the visibility and the plight of our people. You know, at the time I was living in New York in the Bronx, and you know coming from Jamaica with such strong culture, strong heritage, I wanted to see the black culture constantly and I, I didn't see much of it and really you know as I mentioned in our first first episode you know last year I just decided you know enough is enough because one can complain about a problem but it makes no sense if you're not gonna try to solve whatever issue or contribute something positive so unlocking our voices you know is intend to follow the footstep of Marcus Messiah Garvey, a Jamaican-born nationalist, and he has inspired the creation of this podcast so much. And you know, you know, at some point in your life, you're gonna get frustrated about something. And I think for me, my frustration came in living this country, the land of the free and the home of the brave. The United States of America, the hypocrisy in which we I saw, and it made me question the American dream. But the reality is that I, you know, I unlocking our voice is a show that it's going to be very controversial, right? Or is very controversial, you know. But we want to have fun. We want to travel to different parts of the world whether it be Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean, the United States, um, Asia, Europe, given time, resources, and everything. But, you know, for the past 3,000 years, the African continent and people has been assaulted and invaded, first by Western Asia, by the Asians, the Arabs, and then in the 1500, by the Europeans and when you look at the black culture the African culture or you call it the Ethiopian right um, culture we have helped every ethnic group and every single one of them have turned their backs on us but yet still our culture dominates wherever you go in the world whether it be in the United States whether it be in the Caribbean, whether it be in Latin America, and yes, the African continent. They love our culture, but they don't love us as a people. And one of the problems that we have been having, you know, going back again from, say, the past 3,000 years, is our fragmentation as a people. Fragmentation has never unified any country or anyone and so it is important for us to mend our differences and realize that unity is strength and unity is power and with strength and power we can have some effective changes in our communities right keep in mind that yes the goal is that we want to unite the black diaspora are the, 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 the black people all over the world in looking at their common interests. And I understand, yes, I do understand that not 
everyone will embrace the black culture and that's fine but for those who are willing and understand the struggles that our people face you know it is important for us to think race consciously and when I say race consciously I am talking about not any hatred that towards any other ethnic group but race consciously meaning that whatever we do we should do for the interest and the benefit of the black culture and black people because every other ethnic group whether it be the Asians whether it be the Arabs whether it be Europeans they think race consciously for their group you know and whatever they do they do for the interest of their people we have too many leaders in black countries that are not working for the interests of the black majority in those countries or their people and so they betray them they um, you know they, you know they, they, they serve in office as if the presidency or the prime ministership or whatever government title and position they hold that it is their personal um, position so to speak not realizing that they are supposed to be working for the interests of the people so I want you not to continue supporting us unlocking our voices I want you to continue listening in and you know I'm interested in feedback I'm interested in people supporting our cause our movement because you know I'm just tired of you know how we live I'm just tired of you know you have black people who are economically powerful but don't work in the interests of black people they work in the interests of capitalism and they work in the interests of maintaining power for themselves and so we have to change that trend we have to change that behavior but the show is very serious but the truth is that I really want to have fun I really want to enjoy um, what I'm doing and you know when I thought about this last I think it was last March um, 2022 when I thought about creating this show and now we're in 2023 and you know I am I'm extremely happy in the course and the direction in which I have taken because I've seen the fruit of what I am doing you know creating content on the different social media platforms and yes we're gonna get criticism from here and there but the reality is that I'm committed to what I'm doing I believe in what I am doing and I have tremendous love for the African people all over the world and when I say the African people you know we're talking about black Americans we're talking about black Jamaicans we're talking about black Latinos you know we're talking all over the world right if you are a descendant from the African continent black African continent and wherever you go you face struggles and difficulties because of the color of your skin this pseudo um, creation that Europeans created to justify their brutality on us unity is strength unity is power so I look forward to hearing your comments you know and tell a friend about us tell a friend about unlocking our voices go check out our podcast all right on Spotify go check out our podcast on Apple um, Apple podcast and also on our social media on Instagram um, on, on TikTok you know we want to engage with the audience and we want the audience to engage with us so I want you to have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon again